And Ron and Pat, they uh, are work at a, a company called o Oxygen Productions, which is kind of like a website place or whatever. And that's in California, too. And they kind of represent, uh, or Jeff Cohen's company represents them as a lawyer and everything or whatever, as far as I know. So, I yeah. So, is the special features really good to see, though? Yeah, they were good. Uh, it, it includes, uh, like, a pretty much exclusive interviews with everybody who they interviewed. Stuff that they didn't put on the DVD. Stuff that could have been good for the DVD, but then, of course, stuff from last month's 25th anniversary celebration. And, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I mean, it, but it, it is I mean, worth it. I mean, is it professional, or is it like a YouTube type of video? You know what I mean? Like a, it's you know what I mean? half and half. It's half and half. It's, uh, the documentary looks very professional. Like, you know, you could see it on TV or whatever. The extras, eh, you know, they're, they're okay, but, you know, they, a lot of, you hear a lot of extra noise, or, like, you know, people, like, talking in the background a little bit, you know, like, for a couple of the things, and I don't know, I mean, it, it's just a very good DVD. I mean, I don't really care, you know, what type of quality it was in, I'm just happy that I was able to get a, a copy of it, you know, because it was really well worth it. And why, well, go ahead. But what's the website's name? Oh, it's the, it yeah, it's the Goonies.org. Everybody knows that site. If you're a real Goonies fan out there in YouTube land, everybody knows that site. It's uh, just for the people who don't know, you know? Yeah, just for the ones who don't know if you want to get it. And they're asking about fifteen ninety nine for a copy, but I think it's really worth it if you really, really like the Goonies. Because I'm really surprised. That, now, I don't know if this is going to be included in the Blu-ray, uh, not this, but like another documentary, but they have not released a documentary yet of the Goonies since the movies came out. And I, think sure? I thought there was going to be some sort of thing on the new Blu-ray 25th anniversary edition when it comes out. There might be. Do you think it's going to be it's a good this thing or no? It's a good possibility, <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be this. I think it's just going to be something included on the, on the Blu-ray that Warner Brothers put together. This was all from Richard Downer mm -hmm. and everything, and Ron and Pat. They put this together. It's independent stuff over here. So. Cool, man. I'm gonna pick my. I'm gonna tell him Frankie sent, Frankie Swanson sent me. <laughs> yeah, you do that. <laughs> you do that, and they'll uh, hey, you'll, they'll sign it for you if you ask them to, you know. But the reason why I yeah. wanted to get this in the first place was because a lot of you guys don't know, and, and Brendan I think remembers. Uh, or maybe he doesn't remember. Maybe you don't remember, but I actually got a chance to interview these guys back in 2007 when I was on the radio. And uh, I got yeah, I got to interview them because uh, they were the two guys that kind of inspired me to go on my own Goonie vacation in Astoria when I went there two years ago. I think you saw the, you saw the video for that. Anyway, uh, they did a, yeah, they did a Goonies vacation video that they did back in 2002 of the first time they ever went to Astoria. Nope, nope. Because uh, it's not on the DVD because they use copyrighted stuff when they made the video. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah. But you can see... Cool. I saw that. Yeah, they, they got it on the website. They put it back up on the website after the uh, documentary was released because this is how it all this is how it all started for them, where they got the inspiration to do the interviews and everything and find the people who own the house and everything. See, the one cool, cool fact about this is I got to meet the guy who owned the house when the Goonies were filmed there. He lives in Dana's house. His name's Jim Fuller. If you go on YouTube and you type in, like, uh, Goonies House or something like that, they did a thing on HGTV uh, on the Home and Garden Network uh, a few years back on the Goonies house. And uh, he was one of the guys who was interviewed, and he was, his parents were the ones who originally owned the house at the time. And he, he's always lived in Dana's house. That was He owns both those houses. In fact, all the houses that are on that level... He owns, you know, pretty much. So, when I went there, that was my one prerogative to go and meet him, and I did. We didn't take no pictures of it or whatnot, but, uh, you know, he, he, he just wanted to keep it low-key, and I said, you know, no problem, you know. But it was, it was, it was a good thing to, it was a fun experience, anyway, to go to the West Coast. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> what should we talk about, because this video is about 25 minutes right now. Well, we can we can either talk about some more stuff, or we can just uh, tell people to be continued because probably, this probably won't be the last video that we do together. 
and, and it's probably oh, of course not. Oh. it's probably better just to start more with just uh, like an introduction this guy say we're just two guys who just love YouTube and we were former five awesome studs and all that and, <laughs> and you know oh, we'll always be five awesome studs for life but you know God rest that channel yeah. soul <laughs> but uh, I don't know we, <laughs> we, <laughs> but that's another story for another time right? maybe we, we should just end it now so it doesn't stay too long because I'm almost ready off film my camera here only has uh, a capacity of a half an hour of film, so that's why a lot of my videos are as long as oh, they could be. Yeah. yeah, but uh, I want to thank you, Brennan, for letting me uh, do this with you. You know. Yeah, man. Do what with you? I didn't do nothing. What? <laughs> oh, didn't touch it. you I remember what we? Nothing. You remember what we did? <laughs> so, uh, I, I remember. I remember the last thing I remember was some weird smell <laughs> and your hand going over my face. And that was the only thing, that's the last thing I remember. I, just, I woke up, and I was in the middle of a forest, <laughs> and all I, all I had was some nets and some red stuff. Red stuff. Oh, yeah, that was the ketchup I, I brought with. Oh, <laughs> that was ketchup. Yeah, I guess it so. Was, we, we were, <laughs> you said you wanted roast wiener, wieners, so I just like, okay, well. <laughs> okay, well. Oh. And that's a story for another time. <laughs> anyway... This is Frankie Slauson saying goodbye, adios, and we will definitely see you again for another great Daily Summer Vlog video. And then when the Daily Summer Vlogs are done, who knows where, where I'm going to go from the here, but don't worry, I'll still be on YouTube. And good old Brendan, dancing around. <laughs> Mr. Video, Mr. Blockbuster Video. Frankie Slauson, the show. Alrighty. Bye-bye. <laughs>